Salutations. It's a hot one today. It was a hot one. The squirrels were laying prone on the ground. It's near 100 degrees. I think it was 103, I believe, Fahrenheit. So I decided to do something indoorsy. I had a bunch of scrap lumber and I thought I would make myself a shoe garage. Oh, what a mess. I have shelves of stuff. More shelves of uh, construction type stuff. And my workbench. Ta-da! My workbench used to be a table in a doctor's office. That they were getting rid of everything and sold things for five bucks, so I bought one. Put on my vice. I have a clock that doesn't have a current battery in it. Haha. <laughs> And, uh, and I am making a shoe garage. Here's my little winky dinky plans. And I have some boards that I have screwed together in a fashion. I'm on my way to... Where's the drill? Ta-da! I love working with wood. I love wood. <laughs> I do. Give me a little shop that repairs stuff and I'll be happy. I could do that all day. You know, uh, some work, a deadline, let me at it. To go at my own pace, but I will have it done and I will have it done right. I will show you when I am finished with this little shoe garage that I'm making. And after a while, you'll see why I'm making it. Oh, I made it too wide. So I had to narrow it down to ten and a half and two lines, as my friend always would say. Eh, it kind of looks like crap. I'll paint it up. It'll, it'll do the job. You'll Eddie's see. Eddie's checking out the shoe garage. What do you think, Eddie? What do you think? This is why Brian's shoes are, oh well, let's see, they're over 12 inches long. He wears a size 15, 16. I wear a size 10 woman's shoe, 42 European, and that's how big his shoes are next to mine. So tripping on his shoes can mean a matter of hurting yourself big time. So now his shoes have a place to go. He has one more pair, but he's wearing those right now. I'm going to put this aside near the entrance. And Thrall is over here supervising. What do you think, Thrall? Hey. What you think? Is it a go? Yes, sir. Gotcha. Alrighty then. Upward and onward. 